Hello and welcome back to the Random Battle series. Today we're at 1733 starting out, hoping to get to 1800. Got a good lead matchup here with the Shaman. This is Spec, so uh, Seed Flare. Pretty free. Actually going to Terra Poison immediately. Get the Spadef drop. Sludge Bomb nearly killing us. I actually didn't know this thing even had access to poison moves. This is actually pretty new. Um, so Seed Flare does not kill here. But do we have access to removal? No. I'm a bit scared they get up rocks here. But I th I'm going to take the chance and go to Glaceon. Shadow Ball probably has Earth's Power Shore up, is what I'm guessing here. So I'm going to just, just fire off a Freeze Dry, I guess. Yeah, as the expected ice counter comes in. Okay, so there's a pretty good chance they set up rocks here. So I'm going to go back into my Shaman. It's a little risky, but... Yeah, okay. We actually actually spins for some reason. I don't understand that play. But now we got a real issue for them to deal with. Spec Sun Boosted Eruption. This is nasty. And since they immediately tear it to deal, yeah, Palisand's just gonna get annihilated there. Yeah, if they can't outspeed this, which they're not showing any capability to do so, this is just destroying. Okay, so there's three kills for Typhlosion. Off the rip. And, um, I, th they, I think we just tear a fire here. Yeah, Clefable's dead. I don't think they have speed. I think they have the slowest team on the world. Without Trick Room. Yeah, this is, this is a tough matchup. I, I don't think they actually can do anything. But, um, I don't know, maybe a better Terra. This is one of the risks of using Terra turn one. But also, you know, Shaman was going to be a huge problem for them. I could have just clicked Air Slash, should be an alien. They had no, nothing to deal with that, really. Alright, well, we get a quick win immediately. Up to 1749. Liking the looks of this. Alright, what's our next lead? We got Cacturn Morpico. Not a great lead for us. Because Cacturn um, can throw at us with Seed Bomb, could Sword Stance, predicting a switch out, knock off. That's a lot of things it can do immediately, whereas we don't really threaten it that much. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if you're the Cacturn player here, you probably expect something faster to come in. So I would knock off. I'm gonna go Hound Doom here. I don't think they'll Drain Punch. Oh, the, the, oh no. It's the special one, I forgot they do that too. Okay, so we got special Cacturn. What is our best way to deal with this? Despite it being a dark type, we actually don't really threaten it that... Or, sorry, a dark grass type, which has a ton of weakness. We don't threaten it that much immediately. I think our best play here is to try to set up with Salamence on this. Because, um, yeah, Dark Pulse will be unpleasant. But we can deal with it. We actually just got to switch out immediately. It's a Love Disc. Um, even Ice Beam doesn't kill here. Whereas we have a chance to kill its Outrage. Could also just Terra Steel and Dragon Dance again. Then we definitely start killing after that. 
I I'm gonna make the risky play and go for it. I don't think they're gonna charm. They could. Yeah, they do charm. Okay. That's actually not too bad. We still have Terra Steel to use later. We're just gonna go straight into Warm Pico here and knock off. Yeah, it's just this. Um, I'm making the wrong predictions here. They are more so seeming to click just what's in front of them. So I'm expecting an earthquake here. So I'm going to miss mages. Nope, they do get up their spikes, which is fair. Freeze dry really not a problem for me. I'm just going to nasty plot here. If love this comes in, it doesn't really do that much. Yeah, you can just. You can do that all you want. I'm going to T-Bolt. And Love Disk, for all of its speed at a level 100, not doing much otherwise. So the Cacturin comes in. Presenting Sucker Punch. I'm choosing to believe them. I think it could be mixed. Yeah, there's a Sucker Punch. Of course, we are now weak to the Focus Blast. Hmm. So this is a mix, which makes it pretty hard to play around. I'm tempted to believe that if it has Sucker Punch, has Focus Blast, it's gonna be Seed Bomb or Leaf Storm. And then maybe Knock Off? Either way, we cannot really take a a focus blast here. I'm going to go to code scroll, try to get some mid ground. Oh, they go to Glalie, which is interesting. Quite frankly, I don't know what they're expecting there. Because Glalie isn't doing that well against Salamence anymore. Hmm. So this could try to freeze drive. We, pretty good chance to live. I'm just going to go for the spore. Okay, yeah, we do live. I'm just gonna try to Giga Drain up here. Get some chip peel on Tiller Scroll. Yeah, as they do switch out. As is to be expected. So this could be special or it could be. Uh, headbutt. So I'm gonna go for the Toxic. Yeah, it's the special set. So this is exactly who we want in front of Dun Dunsparce. Or sorry, dud sparse. <laughs> I don't want to disrespect the god. But yeah, basically the plan here is just waste as much time. I don't know. You did get the spit F drop. I don't really know why they shadow balled there. Oh, what am I thinking? They're expecting this major switch in on Boom Burst. But honestly, I'm just going to keep Toad Scroll in front of this. Get off as much damage as I can since it's honestly a pretty big threat. But now, with all the Toxic's damage racking up, I think we can just finish it off with more Pico. And also get a little bit of leftover healing while we do it. Yep. So that's the Dunsparce taken care of. I honestly think we just need a lot of damage on this Cacturn. And I don't like its life orb, so I'm going to get rid of that. He goes with a knockoff himself. Um, these spikes are not an issue, really. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue to get damage on Cacturn. It's all I really need. Because that'll give me the ability to win with Salamence now. So immediately I can just do a wing beat here. Big threat gone there. Glalia sweep. Oh, Rayquaza. They do not kill me with Earthquake here. I'm going to Dragon Dance. Oh, they go Terra Normal. And they do Earthquake. We live. I think that's Banded Damage. So I'm going to just Outrage here. Yeah, that's a Banded Rayquaza. So it's definitely going to come in an E-Speed here. I'm still locked into Outrage, so no switching. But now, we can get our Skeledurge going. Go Wisp here. It is not a physical attacker. What can you do? So 
So Judgment's pretty scary here. But I think our Skeldridge is best against this Arceus. I mean, mm, is it? This is a this is a tough <laughs> last two guys to deal with. Since that character and got to exert a lot of pressure on its own. So this is a choice banded Rayquaza, which doesn't kill Skeledurge, it's Earthquake. Yeah, I'm just worried if if they call mind here, what do I do? If they attack immediately, what do I do? I don't know if I really have a winning play immediately. I'm just gonna torch song here. I will slack off. Oh, they actually switched right into Rayquaza. I will take my opportunity to wisp this. And I miss. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna switch back into Skeletor. Just get a little more damage on the Arceus. Now, I do think we can. We can at least live this is a nasty plot, but Rayquaza is too healthy. Yeah, we got a first Shadow Ball here, but missing that Wisp is really unfortunate. Yeah, our only our only hope is a T Bolt full para, which we will not get. Yeah, that was tough, man. That's tough. Ah, uh, Cactor, man, it really got me. Put in. Far more work than it deserved to. So we dropped to 1-1 one one on the day. But I do like this lead matchup, actually. Now, if this has a Lumina Crash, that's a little less great. But we would still live it. Yeah, I'm just going to Ice Hammer. Okay, this is a Lumina Crash setup. We live. Please hit. Oh my god. <laughs> I... Really not my day uh, starting off here. The inaccurate moves are punishing me. Yeah, we're just going to have to go amp upon here. We at least get a knockoff going. Oh, we're at speed boost. Okay, and the sponsor is gone. Not a great start, though. We have to switch into Lumina Crash, though. So I don't, I don't think there's a better play than just some um, trying to go with Ice Hammer. Now this is a likely knockoff coming in, so I'm going to go Glamour here. Yeah. And I think I'm just going to take damage on Girder, honestly. Since we cannot set up any hazards without getting hit. And I don't want to Toxic it immediately, because that's just going to make it more powerful, which is not a great strategy. Okay, so Cramorant comes in, Surf, very threatening. I think we can switch into Bramble Gas, so and just Oko it. I wonder if they just switch out here. I'm gonna go for the subplay. Oh, they defog, actually. Okay, well, I'm going to power up now, I guess. Will the gold missile break sub? No, it actually just goes past sub. That's interesting. Which is actually better for me, honestly. It means I get to keep my sub up and probably leech seed something. Oh, yeah, we can abuse Girder very easily here. Actually, they just double out. I, I mean, <laughs> missed another 90% accuracy move. I don't really understand the point of doubling there. I mean, they can throw in a learning voice here, but we still have for lead seed. Okay, we finally actually get it off. And, um, yeah, we can just kill now with power whip. They go for the nasty plot, and we hit. Yeah. So, Bramblegast being a really annoying sub seed right now. Gritter comes back out. Gonna lead seed again on the knockoff. I assume they're gonna knock off this time. How much is that gonna give us? Oh, 15? We're they have less HP HP than this, we can sub forever. Yeah, 
Yeah, every time we sub, how much HP we're losing? Like a few percent. Meanwhile, Gur cannot heal off of us with Drain Punch. Uh, we lose 5% per sub. Pretty good. Excellent Annoying Mon. And see, they get to switch out there, but then... Immediately, I get to just threaten again. More Leech Seed, more 7. Yeah, I can do this all day, man. Okay, they get the switch in on Arm Rouge on Power Whip, but now we can just Poltergeist, and they're dead. Even if they had, like, Terra Fighting here, they're most likely still dead. Oh, it's a Meteor Beam set. That's fun. Oh, wait. I'm... Oh, no. Oh, no, I see what's happening. <laughs> I see what's happening now. Very interesting. Very smart play, too. Assuming that's what they're going for. I'm just going to throw Gloom around in front, yeah. So, Mr. Hitmonchan cannot deal with the Psy Shock, but it can do a knockoff. Yeah, we got a Terra Dark knockoff here. They just go for the Armor Cannon. Reasonable play, expecting us to. Terra out of that fighting. But <laughs> there's the big, big threat gone. Yeah, the sudden immunity to Poltergeist was scary. So now we have a Fion, or Fion, or whatever you are in front of us. Got a Mock Punch. Yeah, now Bramble Gas gets to just come back in, do the same stuff. Honestly, I don't think he can even break sub. I think it's just Scald. Okay, it does have Ice Beam. But I'm just going to Power Whip now. Are they Terrid yet? If not... A little concerned, but nope, nothing there. Okay, so Girder is forced to knock off here. And this does nothing to do but get damage off now. Hit our Poltergeist, and then Alchemy can finish it off. I feel like I was definitely carried by the Bramble Gas subbing for just subsiding forever. Yeah, Terra Steals. On 15%, a little too late for that. Okay, so we go to 2 and 1. Although I think our ELO is only like 9 high or something. Mm hmm. Okay, so this is an interesting one because. Sterledge does threaten close combat. Oh, I also have a Cyclos R, which is great. I'm going to go to Stranger Lantern, though. I'm a little afraid that they're just going to stay and knock or something. No, they were afraid to. Switching to their Fighting Resist. I don't really have anyone that wants to deal with this Dragalge head-on, but I can make Lantern uh, eat a few couple hits here. I don't really do a lot of damage to it, but I cannot really pivot in easily. I actually go Pachirisu here. Um, okay. I'll just Scald. Guess I don't like the looks of Lantern. But I will take my damage on Pachirisu here. I feel a likely U-turn here, so I don't want to switch into more Pico. Our other Electric Rodent deals with Pachirisa pretty well, but... Okay, if we switch it on a U-turn, we're not looking so great. I'm basically just sacking Landing here to get in. Something opportunistic. 
I want to just have the priority switch in on whatever is in front of me. And I don't think Lantern's that great in general. Like, it's a little fat, it's annoying with T-Wave, but... Immediately in this matchup, it's not looking terrific. It's Pachirisu and Dragalge just in front of it. Yep, there's a U-turn. Probably going to, into Dragalge here. Yep, there's the Dragalge. Yeah, this is spec, so... I prefer to just get off my damage here. I'm not going to T-Bolt exactly, because they don't want to heal up their Pachirisu. That's not allowed. And they get burned, too. Yeah, they got a little greedy there. They don't have to be making these plays yet. I think they're playing too aggressively. But we'll see how that pans out long term. I mean, after all, we are only on turn 6 here. So I guess their only reasonable play here is to just U-turn again, right? We get to... Hopefully they U-turn into, Dragal into Dragalge. Get to keep chipping that down. I mean, already the damage we've gotten on Pachirisu is really nice for a Lantern against something that's pretty bulky on the special side. What's the AV? Yep, we're going to Scald until the end. Yeah, Dragalge's down to half now. Locks into the Sludge Bomb. Mm hmm. Who do we want to use to take advantage? Oh, actually, Psychozar has Draco. We can just drop a Draco and leave. Yeah, Psychozar, extremely good Montagin, random battles, because it enables so many offensive threats so well. And having Draco here is great, too. Yeah, if you've watched any of my Ubers UU content, you know that Psychozar is a Extremely good Pokemon when it gets access to Shed Tail, like it does in random battles. Because it has a lot of utility, like Rapid Spin, Knock Off, Taunt. But I mean, Shed Tail is the king of utility. Getting to pass a sub like that is crazy good. So Smiles couldn't, taking their time here. Psychos are in a great position right now. If we can hit this Draco, or Golden. Yeah, and it's just so fast too that it's outspeeding almost everything in random battles. 249 is extremely fast for the random battles tier in Gen 9. Um, are they going to play? <laughs> Down to 20 seconds on the timer. Will I be able to use my Cyclozar? Or will I have the free win? From the sheer terror that Cyclozar inspires in my opponents. Yeah, I think Cyclozar is too scary, dude. <laughs> we just get to win. Okay. Fine with me. I'm getting like one more, I think. Immediately, do we have energy ball? We have energy ball. Got to turn on the timer, just in case something like that happens again. Yeah, Gastrodon's a pretty big threat here. After all, we have a Golduck and a Milotic. Neither of which can successfully grass move, or sorry, water move if Gastrodon's around. Also, <laughs> extremely good against Raichu and Jolteon. Gastron looks great in this matchup. But yeah, Energy Ball is pretty free there. So that is a choice to Landris of some sort. Or it could be Life Orb. I'm just going to go to Milo, I think. We don't have a great switch in, but this is something. Okay, so now we're looking at an Earthquake. We can do zero about that. However, we can now come in and Revenge. 
I think I like low kicks for the job. Because Gastrodon can't switch it on it. Plus knockoff is just a good move B clicking always. Because more often than not there isn't a good switch into knockoff. Sure you may be able to resist it, but getting to remove an item is always a good play. That's why everything that runs knockoff can viably run it. Everything that can learn it can run it. It's just an incredibly good progress making move. And also a reason things like Gliscor are so good, because it doesn't matter against them. Anyway, if we get our Jugulus switch in, it has specs. Mm -hmm. I like Jolteon. But Jolteon we want to set up and then. And preferably weaken the Gastrodon too. The problem with Raichu is that if we switch in on a Dark Pulse, that's going to do a lot of damage. I don't like the play. Actually, you turn out. Probably looking at a Gaster switch in. I would actually prefer that, because then we can Psy Shock it. And yeah, progress on this Gaster is really good for my team. I actually have Sceptile, which is probably going to Earthquake me. And um, I still have no Earthquake switch ins, but we, we can use the low kicks. But that's like a one time deal. Yeah, I really don't have an answer. I'm actually, gonna rock slide me. No flinch. We get our Psy Shock. Good damage on Sceptile. So now we go into low kicks. Um, do we... I'll just Sucker Punch you, yeah. I need to try to make crazy predictions. Probably looking at the Juggernator coming back in. Yep, there it is. I guess I'll bring out Golduck now. Because whatever it U-turns into, we can deal with. Assuming it U-turns here. It does not U-turn. But we can also deal with Hydro Pump. Yeah, Ice Beam is free here. The U-turn out. Probably into Gastrodon. Oh, they have a Cryogonal. That's not what I want to see. <laughs> you ruined my day, Cryogonal. On the bright side, at least... Jolteon will be able to deal with it pretty well. Yeah, they had good switch to Landris there. Um, I have I have no clever switching to do here. I don't want to risk too much damage on low kicks yet. And um, here I'm going to leech life for a little health back. So yeah, I expect them to just accept deaths there. So now Jugulus comes back in. Yeah, expecting a switch. I'm just gonna go Golduck here. It's not very useful looking. I mean, Kragonol just shuts it down, right? And Jugulus is probably just gonna start clicking attacks now. Exactly. But now we can get into our Jolteon and start doing some work. So Earthquake's going to do a ton of damage here. But I'm going to get ahead of that. Oh, we do not do that much damage. That's not, not great, dude. And this Jugulus honestly has not taken enough damage. It's not looking good for the low kicks end game. In fact, we could switch out even. I think that's the only way we win, honestly. Earthquake is just going to kill. Most likely, I should say. Yeah, I, I think I have to switch to low kicks here. Because even on the off chance Earthquake doesn't kill, they just go Kragonal. They actually just choose to recover there. I'm going to use Swords Dance. 
I think with SD, you can't really threaten me with Jugulus. Kraken will want to do enough damage. Ooh. We may be cooking yet again. Let's see. Let's see. Of course, they do have that final guy. But I think with the sword stance here, we're going to be looking really good. Either they switch and we have a sucker punch on something, or they stay, do damage, and we get a free leech life. What will they do? Yet another head scratcher for the opponent, I guess. It's now down to under a minute on the timer. Yeah, honestly, I kind of, <laughs> kind of didn't notice the swords dance option on low kicks, but um, it's gonna be my only way to win this game. Okay, they go to Kragnal. Yeah, we just leech life here, or. Well, they don't even have... There's not even a reason to do that. We Sucker Punch. Oh, they have Haze. That sucks. That does suck. Okay, well, now we have to knock off. And I'm expecting our cover. Yep, we Leech Life. I need to have that Sword Scans up to win. If they recover here, they do live, but they give me more health back. You got sucker. Ah. I feel like recovering there is not a good move, though. I mean, it's all just predictions, right? Mm-hmm. If they attack here, they just kill me. Yeah, okay. Finally get something going back. Ah, that haze, man. Sucker Punch will not kill here, unless we crit. U-turn kills, we go to Jolteon. Gastrodon can start finish. I think our only options here is still Jolteon. We can just Terra Blast here, though. Gastro comes out. Just gonna continue clicking. Uh, I think we just have to crit with Leech Life or something here. Because I think Gastrodon does too much damage to Lokix, who has apparently no Spadef. If we look here at slash DT. Yeah, 55 special defense is pretty terrible. Yeah, unfortunately, there does not seem to be a way out. Well, even if we crit with Leech Life, they go they go to their guy. If we crit that, we still just die. We have the Sword Stance. There's just nothing else. We have to wait. Hope for they choke. Yeah, we do lose there. Unfortunate, but what can you do? Sometimes you just uh, don't have a great way out, and they have the tools to counter you. That's the way it goes. That'll do it for today. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.